Hey everyone, I'm Adrian. I'm gonna be one of your essentials teachers this year. And I want to take a moment and tell you how you can organize your binders. This is optional, but I just wanted to tell you what I found to be helpful and you might find it helpful as well. So I do have several. Um, and I'm gonna start with your student binder. So for your student binder, I've used a one inch binder and it does have a clear sheet in the front, which I find helpful for our schedule. You'll get one of these on Monday, August 1st. If you don't make it, um, we can always bring it to the first day of class, but it's really helpful just to see and know where we're going and what to be reviewed at that time. When you open it up, you're gonna see a pencil pouch, and in here I recommend pencil, pen, highlighter, dice, dry erase marker, I didn't already say that. Um, and it's just helpful to always have those. I feel like at home, like I always wonder what happened to all the pencils and pens. I mean, how can we homeschool and not know where our pencils are? But it happens. And so if you load it up in here, that's gonna be helpful. I do have the calendar again in the front. It might seem redundant, but I find it helpful. And they are in sheet protectors. I recommend buying a bunch um, the weekend of August 5th or whenever it's tax-free weekend, and then you'll have them on hand. So in case we hand out any lovely handouts in class, you can drop them in there. So you see, this is just a handout. This is not necessary to put in there, but it's one I really liked, and it's already loaded up in my son's um, binder. Um, here's another one on here, and we'll hand all these out. If this looks interesting and you want one ahead of time, let me know. I've got a list of helping verbs and linking verbs. Some of our students have been in um, foundations for a long time and they might already have these memorized, but if your student is new, it might be helpful to go ahead and have this list of helping verbs and linking verbs. And I'll be sure to share some of these helpful handouts on Slack. Um, but a top priority, a must, is having this analytical task sheet in your binder. We will provide one of these as well. It's laminated. It's also known as the ATS. There's gonna be a lot of acronyms and you're gonna wonder what we're talking about, but hang in there, you'll learn them all. And it's good, this is um, supposed to come off, but this is from last year, so I'll need to spend some time scrubbing that off, but that's in there. And then we get into all the charts. So each week, um, you'll we'll go over a chart or two or new ones, um, and I've tabbed them over here with these little post-it tabs, and I've written the A on there. So you see, this is chart A, chart, this is C, it already jumps to C, because B and C, but I've labeled them all. That way, when we're in class, your student's not spending you know, 10 minutes trying to find the chart, they can just quickly flip to it. Um, some people put the filled out chart and then the blank chart next to it. I put all the regular charts next to each other, the filled out charts, and then the blank charts are in the back. So they're back here. So this is great for at home for when they wanna fill it out and practice um, learning their charts. So the, again, these are all in sheet protectors. And then, in the back, I have the editing exercises. We won't do these in class, but I put them all in here. So, um, crew has some, my son has some options for what he's going to do. So he can go ahead and look at his charts. He can fill out a blank one. He can go to his editing exercises and look at the week and go ahead and edit and find the errors in it. So it's just something helpful. There's even another ATS in here, but we just have extra. And then the last sheet is the quit it quo. Um, and we'll go over this too we'll get you a copy of these. Um, so that's the student binder. It's helpful to have it um, ready to go for class each week. It's all loaded up. Um, so that's that one. The next one is um, mine that I use. It's the solutions manual for the sentences that your student will diagram at home. So in the front, it just has the scope and sequence. I have all my weekly sentences in front. And this isn't necessary, but it helps me so if we're on week three and um, we're running around, I'm like, crew, let's go ahead and do your sentence. I will dictate it. So if you're looking at week four, or let's say week, let's say week seven. It says, preach the gospel and love the poor. So I would just dictate it to crew, my student, and then he would write it down on his ATS and fill it out. So it's just helpful for me to have on here. Again, I have my some of my favorite handouts in here. This is a favorite. Um, the schedule again can help to have that and then all the charts so my charts are all filled out although it's good for me to practice filling out the blank ones too they're all filled out and then the back are the sentences um, there's weekly sentences that your students should diagram at home so the editing exercises at first but the sentences are all the solutions and um, it's helpful to see why 
you diagram it a certain way and has all the answers. So that's in my solutions manual. You don't need to bring this to class, but it's good to have separated. Then if you have the new guide, this is the fifth correct curriculum, um, fifth edition EEL, and it's in a bigger one. So this is a two inch binder, right? This is a two inch binder. I've got it labeled too, that I find that helpful. My favorite, a pencil pouch, the schedule. And it's already pre, these tabs came this way. So um, when I bought it, I just stuck it in here. Put another one of my favorite handouts on the back. There's nothing else special in here, but that's ready to go. That's that one. Um, this is optional. Um, no, this one's not optional. This is your, um, this is a seminar workbook that you'll go through as the parent. And so when you come on Monday, August 1st, you wanna bring this because we'll be going over units one and two and you can go ahead and take notes in here. So I recommend bringing this on Monday. We also call this TWIS, see? Teaching, writing, structure, and style. So TWIS, T-W-S-S. -S. So bring this on Monday. It's already, should be preloaded for you to stick it in here. Your student resource packet, people call it SRP. Um, it's very helpful for when your student writes their papers. You can purchase it or you can print it and just put it in one of these. So inside it has each unit like we've talked about, but it has, it comes this way. You just you purchase it. I think it's $20 and it has all the tips for you. I'm trying to, my favorites are in the back, the blue pages. So it has strong verbs, adjectives, adverbs. It has all these helpful things that we'll go over to, for your dress ups for the writing portion of our seminar in the afternoon. Again, you can print it yourself and put it in sheet protectors for your student. You can do either option. And that's it. I do have some of these things that you can order ahead of time if you're interested. They're not necessary, but they are helpful. One is the portable walls, grammar on the go. So it just breaks everything down. Um, it has sentence openers, dress ups. It's just like a cheat sheet. I love it. I use it a lot. Then all these lovely charts. These three are the newest updated ones. And so one is the analytical task, nouns and verbs. I'll bring these on Monday and you can take a look at them. They're great. It's just, I bring these to class too. It's good to bring them to class as a, the lead learner as the, it's just helpful so you can quickly find the answers. This is an old one, but it's the um, sentences. Um, again, very helpful. They open all the way up. There's everything in here for you. And then one of these quit at close. So these are good. Hopefully that wasn't too fast and hopefully that's helpful. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.